Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video, Rendezvous for Dummies. Now I still get a lot of requests on how to rendezvous in orbit. This game has been out for a very long time, but we still get a lot of new players that come on and want to know the very basics of how to play the game. Now this video is not going to be extraordinarily in-depth, it's going to be very, 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 and I cannot stress this enough, very basic rendezvous for dummies just enough to get your toes wet in this video you're going to learn how to rendezvous with an object in orbit going ar around the equator of Kerbin, and then i'm going to teach you how to go and rendezvous with something that's in an extreme orbit around Kerbin. now first things first before you get into orbit make sure that your target is a few minutes out behind your craft before you launch what this does is it gives you enough time to launch your vehicle into orbit all while your target is coming up behind you so that by the time your vehicle gets into orbit your target will be near or close to you. It's going to take a while before you get it just right. You might play around with it a little bit, but it will help. Now, once you're in a basic orbit around Kerbin, find your target and select it. You're going to see these little markers that say AN and DN, basically ascending node and descending node. Ascending node means that when your orbit crosses the orbit of your target in an upwards motion, it's ascending past your target's orbital plane. And of course, descending node is the opposite of that. It means your orbit is descending past your target's orbital plane. These these two points is where you want to make your maneuvers, whether pointing your rocket up or down in order to change your orbital plane to match that of your target, kind of like a seesaw. So if you make a maneuver node at your ascending node, that means you're going to want to point your spacecraft down, well down in an orbital sense, don't point it towards Kerbin, you're, you're going to fuck it up. You'll see when you make the maneuver node on the ascending node and you play with the purple triangle, whatever the frick that name is for that damn thing, I don't give a shit, you'll see a prediction orbit appear as dotted lines. Match that with your target's orbit. And once you get to the maneuver node, go ahead and make the burn by going down to your nav ball and selecting the icon for your maneuver node so that your craft points in the direction that you need to go. So now that our craft is on the same orbital plane as our target, we need to figure out how to actually get to our target. First, you have to ask yourself, where's my target? Well, is it in front of you or is it behind you? If it's in front of you, you need to speed up in order to get to it. If it's behind you, you need to slow down in order for the target to reach you. But how does one slow down or speed up in orbit around Kerbin. The way orbits work is that the closer you are to what you're orbiting, the faster you'll be moving. The further away you are from what you're orbiting, the slower you're going to be moving. The reason for this is, of course, speed, but also distance. The smaller your orbit, the less distance your spacecraft has to travel to make a complete orbit. The further away your orbit from Kerbin, the longer the distance, the longer the distance is that your spacecraft has to travel to make a complete orbit around Kerbin. Now, I'm not here to teach you all about how orbits work that'd be opening up a huge case of worms that would take an entire video by itself i'm just here to teach you how to rendezvous with your target so accept the fact that the closer you are to kerbin in your orbit the faster you are the further away you are from kerbin the slower you are for your orbit now that we know this simple fact we can look at our target how high is it is it really really low or is it really really high in most cases it'll be high enough to where we can lower our orbit down on our apoapsis and periapsis so that our orbit is smaller than our target's orbit, allowing us to speed up to our target. Now, if our target was behind us, we would do the exact opposite. We would expand our periapsis and apoapsis so that our orbit is larger, meaning that we would slow down and our target would, would go faster or speed up, allowing our target to come to us. So now that we've made our orbit smaller up to 70,000 meters in apoapsis, because you have to remember, you can't make your orbit too small because if you go past 70,000 meters, if you go lower than 70,000 meters, you'll be re-entering Kerbin, and we're not trying to re enter Kerbin. So after you've made your orbit small, it's now just a waiting game until you catch up to your target. Now there are two different ways of finalizing your orbital rendezvous. One, you could have a hard rendezvous, or you could have a soft rendezvous. A hard rendezvous is when you get close to your target, but you're kind of far away. So you spend a lot of fuel slowing down, pointing at your target, and manually flying straight to it before flipping the craft around and slowing down before you hit it. A soft rendezvous is when you maneuver the craft, or your craft, in such a way that it slowly but surely shows up at your target's front door without any need of hard maneuvering in order to get there. It's a lot trickier 
and it requires a lot more patience. But there is kind of a half <laughs> half-assed way of doing it so that it doesn't take so damn long. Underneath of your craft as well as your target's craft, if you right click on it, will give you velocity, altitude, and distance. The velocity at which the craft is moving, the altitude on how high the craft is, and how far away you are from it. You're going to want to look at that altitude number. Because you've selected your target, it'll also give you your target's apoapsis and periapsis. Remember that your periapsis color is blue and your target's periapsis and apoapsis color is light green. Look at these numbers. Make sure that your periapsis and apoapsis numbers are slightly below that of your target's numbers. Unless of course your target is behind you, in which case you want to have your periapsis and apoapsis numbers slightly above that of your target's apoapsis and periapsis numbers. Once you fine tune it to just a few meters of altitude in between you and your target for your periapsis and apoapsis, then prepare to wait for a while. Because <laughs> you don't want to go too fast. You don't want to hit the time warp too fast or you might blow right past your target. But what this will do is pretty much have you show up right at your target's front door. So that the amount of fuel needed and necessary to slow down and turn around and point towards your target will be greatly minimized. Now that you're near your spacecraft or you're near your target, simply click on the nav ball on the top of the nav ball. You'll see that you have different types of readings, surface readings, orbit, and target. Make sure that nav ball is selected on target. What this shows is it shows where your vehicle is according to the target's reference. Go ahead and click retrograde. This shows the movement of your vehicle in correlation with your target. So you want to slow down until you and your target are about the same speed. Once you slow down enough, click on the target icon to point your vehicle towards your target and give it a little bit of thrust so you can start moving towards your target. Not too much now. You don't want to run into your target. That would be bad. Give yourself enough time to be able to react when it comes time to slowing down and braking. Because you're in orbit, you're going to drift a little bit. It gets worse when you're trying to dock with something at an extreme orbit. We'll get to that later. But once you think you're getting close enough, make sure your vehicle is pointed retrograde, slow down again, then point to your target and burn ever so gently towards your target, giving you enough time to slow down once you get there. Now, of course, you can do this with RCS thrusters, but the principle is the same. And congratulations, you have successfully rendezvoused with your target. Now I'm not going to show you how to dock or anything like docking maneuvers. That's that's a completely that, that would take up an entire video by itself. This is simply how to get to your target or rendezvous with your target. But what happens if your target is at an extreme orbit? How do you go about rendezvousing with something that's out there? Well, in this case, your first orbital maneuver will actually be just after a few seconds after you launch. Let me explain. When you launch your vehicle into orbit, it's going to take a while. Sometimes two minutes, sometimes five minutes, depending on how big the craft is, sometimes even longer. So you have to give yourself somewhat of a small little buffer zone of distance between where you begin your launch at in comparison to where your target's orbit is. Because you have to remember that Kerbin is still moving, but the orbit that your target is in is not. So if you don't launch from the launch platform, you'll eventually pass underneath your target's orbit and you'll have to wait until Kerbin rotates all the way around again. You see what you're gonna want to do is you when you launch you're going to want to point your spacecraft in the direction of the target in its extreme orbit well how do you find out what direction you should point your spacecraft at well in this instance our spacecraft's left side is pointing north and our spacecraft's right side is pointing south. If we zoom out, then we can see the direction of the target or its orbit in correlation with the position of our rocket. So it's kind of heading in a very 45 degree orbit sort of towards the water tower on the launch pad. So when we launch, we're going to want to turn our spacecraft to the left a little bit before doing a gravity turn in that direction. Now, if you're confused at which direction that would be for the nav ball, always remember that the nav ball is showing what the front of the rocket rocket is seeing. Simply left click on the capsule of the rocket, aim camera, go down to the right bottom right of the corner of the screen, click the button that allows you to see the Kerbal inside the spacecraft, and basically the top of his head is the top of your nav ball. His left hand would be pointing towards the north, right hand pointing towards the south, and his feet would be at the bottom of the nav ball while facing skyward. This would mean that we need to turn the rocket towards a 45 degree angle on the nav ball before beginning our gravity turn into orbit. Once you get into orbit, you then proceed to do everything I just explained in order to rendezvous with the target. It's basically the same thing.
Now, as you can tell, I was having some difficulty trying to finalize the rendezvous because of the drift. The drift was really bad, especially especially for extreme cases like this where the orbit is just out there. You can get really bad drift. It's not impossible by any means to rendezvous with something at that orbit, but you're going to use up a little bit more fuel, for sure. Not only in launch, but also in the final sequence of meeting the craft. So hopefully you enjoyed the video today. Again, this is a very, 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 very basic tutorial about orbital rendezvous around low carbon or, or orbit what the fuck low carbon orbit if you're interested in learning more about this subject there are plenty of ksp videos out there that get really into depth about this kind of thing there are also lots of mods that help out a lot even getting to the point where you could just fly right up to the spacecraft a rendezvous with it without really much in the way of calculations i think mechjeb has that but if this helped you at all i'm glad i could help don't be afraid to put your opinions and thoughts in the comments below so that if anybody reads the comments they can learn more but for now that's all i'm going to put out on this video thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel if you liked what you saw please leave a like and if you really 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 liked what you saw consider subscribing we also have a membership program if you become a member you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name pretty cool check it out but anyway that's it for today thank you so much for watching again love you all stay safe and i'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.